Okay, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, for this one, I just wanted to cover how I am routing my VCV rack and or Ableton um, audio into OBS these days. So we'll start with the VCV rack, and the same thing applies to Ableton. But um, if you see here on my patch here uh, for VCV, I've got my audio set up to output from VCV into an input, which is a virtual cable. So that is the way that I'm getting audio out of VCV rack. And then if I, let's put away VCV rack here a second. And we'll take a look at my, my OBS settings. If we look at OBS, we can see here, I've got this, all my audio stuff grouped here. And we can see I've got my VCV coming in here to this virtual cable. If we double click on that, we can see that that's connected to the virtual cable A output. So as long as you have that matched up, you'll get that signal. Um, and I can turn that off. We don't want to listen to that right now. We'll bring it back. It's always playing, but we can tap into it. Um, I should note that I am not using any of the routing type of filters and other plug-in type stuff in OBS. Um, I have done some stuff with that, have had limited success getting to do what I exactly want to do. Um, so this has actually worked out a lot better. It's a lot more straightforward and you can see exactly what's happening pretty quickly. Um, if we look over here on the audio mixer, we can see that uh, we have the VCV coming in here at this virtual cable. And if I look at my advanced properties, I'm going to see that I have that set for monitor and output because I do want that to go back through um, my mixer that I'm using for monitoring. And uh, I'll be able to listen to that. And that's one important thing to note. Um, I'm doing all of my monitoring through the Allen & Heath USB mixer that I'm using. Um, I do have another video that goes into a little bit more detail about that. But it's worth noting that we have nothing selected here on the audio settings for these global devices because I don't, I don't want any other devices to be showing up here uh, except what I need. And I don't actually need anything here to be set, including this monitoring device, because I'm monitoring right off of the mixer. Uh, so if we cancel that, um, the setup is the same really for Ableton. Uh, just in Ableton, you would change your output audio interface to be the virtual cable, similar to what we saw here in um, VCV rack. And you would get your audio coming through. And um, yeah, so that is the basic setup I'm using right now. Uh, I've got some other videos on my channel covering various aspects of working with OBS, Touch Designer, VCV Rack, um, various programs. So check those out if you're interested, and thanks for watching.